as you've heard this weekend, it's been all about uh, bringing uh, all school students nominated by their high school band or for choir teachers together with faculty and students at UAA to make music for the weekend. And uh, what a great thing. It's been fabulous. Um, and as you can hear, the results for one day rehearsal are pretty outstanding. Um, we hope that this just continues to grow and gets bigger every year. We expect this to be an annual event. And we're really looking forward to more and more people coming and joining us for this festival. Um, one of the things that we're really interested in doing is we're trying to uh, build bridges, both kind of professionally and socially, to public school students on the way to university. Because we like to see all these students that you see up on the stage here today, when they uh, go to university, we like to see them engage and still play music, whether they're going to be a music major or they're going to be a science major. And certainly if they come to UA, we want them to know the people that they would possibly work with and, and some of the other people they might be sitting next to and playing with. And one of the ways that we're trying to encourage that is that each senior in this year's group will actually be getting a uh, scholarship if they should come to UAA that would enable them to play the first semester at Van Orchester or Choir for free. Jessica Shields. My name is Jasmine Sullivan. Uh, my name is John Norton. Laurel. Lydia Stanford. My name is Taylor Elise Ross. My name is Tracy Peterson. I'm 15. I am 17 years old. I'm 17. 16. 16. 14. 16, but I'm almost 17. 17. I am 16. In Kodiak, Alaska. I'm from Kodiak, Alaska. Kodiak? I'm from Kodiak. I was born in El Paso, Texas, but then I moved to Kodiak when I was three. Kodiak. I play tall. I play the viola. I play the violin. I play the cello. I play the cello. Violin. Violin. I play the cello. I play the violin. Six years. About six years. I've played the violin since I was seven, and I'm 17. Ten years. Seven. 
six years? Um, well, I've been playing with cello since sixth grade, so that's six years, five, five years. But then before that, I played violin for two years, but I don't anymore. This will be my seventh year. It's like six years. I've been playing with viola for six years. Six years, yeah, six years. Um, shopping? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know, just a chance to play with people outside of Kodiak. People who are, you know, better, been playing longer. It's fun. This trip, I am looking forward to playing with just more experienced players than me and just the experience I'm going to get. I'm looking forward to working with some of these collegiate players. See if they can give me any advice. Um... I don't know, I'd say practicing like in general with everybody is just like the new environment and Dr. Wilkins. It's just really cool and fun, so yeah. Um, I think the concert at the end when we all play together and see how well our hard work has paid off. Um, I'm looking forward to working with new musicians. Um, I like Dr. Wilkins. He's a great uh, conductor and I've worked with him before and he's helped me a lot. So. Um, other than shopping, it's a great learning experience with the UA students and Dr. Wilkins. I feel like the music's the right school level, but a lot of the people are better. And I mean, some of them are the same. But. They're definitely above. Oh uh, yeah, I'm surprised that they're at my level because I was not very, didn't think I was very good. But yeah, everyone's kind of at the same similar levels. I feel like we're all on the same page. Like the college students are definitely a lot better, and they're helping out a lot and keeping everyone together. Um, I don't want to sound like cocky or anything. I think we're all pretty much on the same page. There are some people that are whew, way above, but I think it's pretty equal. It's balanced out at least. Um, it's. Fun. Um, it's about nine to five, you know. I mean, it's it gets tired sometimes, but it's nice. Okay, we wake up, get breakfast, and then we play for eight hours, and then we do whatever we want. Um, it's we just had a lot of rehearsal times, and there's going to be a lot of dress rehearsals, and I mean, we have little breaks and stuff, but it's pretty packed so far. Um, it's like a normal school trip. It's controlled. Uh, so far it's pretty simple. You just play and get a break to eat. Um, it's very, like, packed. I don't know. It's kind of relaxed and kind of not at the same time because there is a lot you have to work on, but it's not 24-7. Does that make sense? You know, it's kind of a lot of pressure, but it's also really fun. Um, it's a lot of, it's a long kind of rehearsing. Like we played for hours. It's fun, but it's long. Okay, so let me give you the rundown. I wake up and then we come and we're practicing for eight hours today and then shopping the <laughs> and eating too, you know, it's important. It it seems that they have a excellent music program here. That the uh, the professor does a good job of not only just teaching them how to play the music, but teaching them how to play the music with feeling and correctly. Probably just the whole new people, new environment. It's just, when you're in Kodiak, you know, there's no such thing as, like, mixing it up. Because it's the same people, same thing every day, you know? It's just, it's a great opportunity, I think. It's pretty cool to come and play with different people around the state. And you learn a lot. And it's fun. Meet new people. What's your name? My name is Dr. Lee Wilkins. And what brought you to UA? Well, I'm... From Anchorage, I was born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska, and I went away for college. And I uh, have worked at music schools all over the country, uh, including ten years at the Eastman School of Music in New York. Um, and then, uh, when that came to an end, and my parents had reached an uh, old old age here, it was just obvious that I should come back and take care of them. And the UAA, you know, I've been 
knowing people at UAA all my life, and so we worked out an arrangement so I could, you know, give back to the community that raised me so well and, um, and raise the next generation of music students here. And is that why you decided to teach? Why I decided to teach? Um, teaching is the profession that creates all the others, you know. So, yeah, eventually, no matter what you do, whatever you perform, you, if you really are good at it, you end up teaching. And a lot of times later in life, when your body starts to fail you <laughs> here and there, you, you, you do it more. You know, and it be, as you get older, you, you feel like you need to give back. You need to give back to the next generation, to the students, to the young people, help build the community, make sure they have what I had here. And um, how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching, I think, uh, uh, full time, professionally for 25 years now. What, what do you feel your relationship with your students is? Well, my job as a teacher, I view, is to not tell them what to think, but show them what to think with. And not show them the only way to do something, but many ways to do things. And I teach them to go out and take, you know, get 10 different ideas on the same subject. What, what we do as teachers is open doors, open windows, and give them the opportunity and guide them in their thought process. Otherwise, they just end up repeating what you tell them, and then they can't use that when they have to teach, because they haven't been forced to think for themselves. Music, uh, uh, when I was seven. Yeah, I, I attended a concert by the New York Philharmonic here in Anchorage, Alaska in 1964. Sat in the front row right in front of the violin section, and my parents said, what do you want to play? And I said, violin, because that's all I can see. <laughs> I guess it leads into another question. Uh, who is your uh, favorite composer? My favorite composer? Well, that's a good question. Um, that's a very difficult question, actually. Uh, I'd almost hate to pick. Uh, if I had to pick one of a human being that most represented the struggle to create uh, great art, it would have to be Ludwig von Beethoven because he was the most normal, peculiar guy who was able to create greatness. You know. And what is the best part of teaching kids? The best part of teaching kids is, is, is never when you're teaching them, it's after you're done teaching them and, and, and 10 years later, you one of them comes and sees you and says, Oh, thank you so much. Now that I'm teaching, I use all these things you told me to do, and they work. I didn't believe you at the time, but I now know they work. <laughs> Sometimes you have to wait 10 years for that, but it's worth it. <laughs>
other places so that we can have this festival atmosphere so we can share the universal language of music amongst our colleagues and students in the States. One thing you should know, something to look for, uh, you're going to see a few cameras around. Um, we, we have this sort of Ann Sullivan type person from Kodiak, Rachel Lanigan here, who is the one woman teacher on the on teaches all levels, all schools, and several of the villages spring up. She also raised all the money to bring them here. so they could go as baggage on Hera. <laughs> they sold pizzas to the Bush communities at an exorbitant rate to raise money. <laughs> anyway, they also brought the film crew from University of Alaska, Kodiak, here, who's making a documentary of this whole festival. So they've been taking footage of the rehearsals, interviewing the conductors, and going to the concert, and it's going to be pieced together so that it can be sent to all the music directors around the entire state of Alaska so they can see what's available to them and anchors. That's our hope, and that's our job is to make this available to them in today's economy, in today's musical world. So that's, you might have something to look forward to, you know, so we can get that on the internet and you, know, you can start watching a documentary that watch all the eight hours of rehearsal that went on yesterday that put this together. Is the music challenging? You betcha. Why? Because I had no idea who was showing up before I had to pick the music. So, we have an adventure on our hands. It's great music, it's a lot of fun. Um, these ensembles are in the hands of classical <coughs> directors. They don't get any better than Grant Cochran and Mark Wolvers. Yeah. And, yeah, well, we'll see what happens with my game. But, uh, <laughs> on with the show. Thank you very much.